Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rezzy, if you're new here. Recently, I have been waking up at 5 a.m. And this routine, including healthy habits, has changed my life. So keep watching if you need inspiration to change yours. Mornings are so important. They are the foundation for your day. That's why I like to start mine with drinking some water just to get my guts regulated. And then I also like to reward myself with some coffee in the morning for waking up early. And you can do the same thing with tea or maybe a croissant, fruits or veggies, just so that you can get into the routine of waking up early. If you want to become a morning person, the easiest and fastest way to do so is just by romanticizing your mornings. When I wake up, I like to reward myself with coffee and I listen to jazz music while I make my bed and I just make it as peaceful as possible. So that's something you can look forward to. If you want to make your mornings more enjoyable and be more mindful. First thing in the morning I like to do is give gratitude to Jesus. It is my number one priority to get into the word before I face this world. My day is structured off of getting into the Bible first thing in the morning. Like if I don't do this, my days are just starting off terrible. So I have to do this first things first in my routine, giving thanks, showing appreciation for the things that I have and being content in the situation that I am in. And honestly, just thanking God for the past, the future, and the now, and just building my relationship with him. So that's something that I do early in the morning, and I believe that this is very important to have gratitude in your routine so that you can appreciate the things that you have. Not only that, but have a more positive outlook and more present day. Before we go ahead and get this day going, I do want to feel a little bit fresher. So I'm going to go ahead and take a shower so that we can go to the gym. Okay, we are ready to go. This is the outfit for the day. So right now I'm going to go plan on my day and make our smoothie. This smoothie I've just made has to be the best I've ever made. So let's go ahead and head to the gym.
girls so i'm out the shower i did my hair and i just wanted to show you my quick makeup routine our grip primer from elf and then i'm gonna let that dry down i'm now going to focus on my brows i don't do much to my brows anymore i barely fill them in but when i do want to like right now i use the i've been trying out the um nyx thick it stick it because i was i ran out of the nyx glue brow or brow glue and it's been sought out like everywhere i go so and this actually has like like eyebrow hairs in it i don't know if y'all can see that but it does like little like mascara of like eyebrow hair so i'm gonna do it off i'm gonna do it off camera but look at my before okay cool i spray my elf makeup mist so if you do spray setting spray on your face before you apply your concealer, makeup will last like double, I'm telling you. I like to let that sit and I'll go on with a bronzer. I have not run out of this yet and this is the Fenty bronzer and Mocha Mommy. It is a bit dark for me right now because it is um, springtime, but I just wiped some of it off and use it. It's going to bring some color to my face. Look at that dry a bit. Okay, so I've allowed my concealer to sit and I'm going to... The key to the best concealer is a powder puff. You have, you have to have a powder puff. If you want flawless makeup, you need a powder puff. And not only do you use the powder with powder buff but you need to conceal with powder buff it'll make all the difference it doesn't take off your concealer it doesn't take off your concealer it literally smooths your concealer and i love that like look at that looks flawless as soon as i found this technique i was like brush bye okay now I'm just going to be taking some setting powder and putting that under my eyes. I don't let the setting powder set at all because that gives me cakey vibes. So I just tap it. I tap it in here to cover that top triangle. And then I take my wrist and I kind of just smooth it out. And there's still too much also. <laughs> We'll go like that. And then we'll go like super quick over. I just put the concealer. Same thing for this side. all i do i don't really wear mascara i do wear mascara but um i don't really want to today i just really want to go for like a more natural look but i'll add some mascara i have started using brown mascara bomb okay if you are if you have brown eyes like me start wearing brown mascara and also start filling in your eyebrows with brown mascara i used to always get black mascara no, I have never gotten as many compliments on my lashes as I do now. That's it. Like, I don't like all that cakiness. I do a little bit of blush. That's it. That is the makeup look for today. I'm about to fix my edges one more time. I put on this tiramisu from NYX. And this is my everyday makeup look. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. Try this routine and give it a go. It works great for me. I do want to wake up a little bit earlier, so I'm probably going to try the 4 a.m. routine, but definitely give this a try if it's out of your norm because you will definitely have extra hours to your day to do whatever you need to do and get done and be the 
most productive as possible or just even waking up earlier and doing your self-care so yeah definitely go ahead and give this a try and if you do let me know in the comments talk soon